Hey everyone, today we're going to unravel the truth behind the Wisdom Star app, which claims to let you make hundreds of dollars daily just by answering trivia questions. Is it too good to be true or is it a genuine opportunity? Let's dive right into it. So as you can see, we've got Wisdom Star showing on, on the screen right now. I've got the game launched up and as you can also see, I've also got the trivia quiz and as that fingers basically pointed to in the top left corner I've also got the cash amount now Wisdom Star is a trivia based game that promises to help you earn real cash by answering questions with over a million installs people are drawn to the idea of winning money while enjoying a quiz just as you can see right here but we've got some serious concerns about this app so let's break it down first we'll talk about the game's premise and the features so once you start this app you're immediately going to be presented with trivia with a trivia question, just as you can see right here. Now, I've already answered a few of these. As you can see, there's eight by that count at the top. These questions are really simple. And as you basically complete these questions and answer them correctly, you'll actually earn, I say actually, you'll earn virtual currency. As you can see on the top corner, I've got £360. And that's been built up through me just answering eight simple questions. Now, just let that sink in that someone... that that someone's basically created an app to give you the idea that you can make 360 quid essentially from answering eight questions surely something like that is way too good to be true but um as you'll progress through the game you'll encounter more questions and more opportunities to earn cash rewards and the app really does force it upon you to kind of just keep up the keep up um keep making essentially money you've got the 33 pound 10 that you can kind of see floating around the screen right now um, it's just a lot of um, incentives to basically play the, play the game and it almost looks like the money is basically waiting for you when essentially it's not and I'll explain that in just a second. Now how I got introduced to Wisdom Start App, it wasn't because I was trying to make money really, um, It was a, it, the reason why is because I found an advert and this promotional video for Wisdom Star in this specific video that I came across, I'm sure there's many more, but it featured a woman who was claiming to make $3,000 a month despite being broke. She was basically making $3,000 using Wisdom Star and the opportunities that were apparently on offer. Now, a lot of the claims that she was making weren't really adding up. It, but essentially, she was contradicting herself as she was talking. And as you can imagine, that basically rose, well, made me raise an eyebrow to it. You see, if the app pays up to $500 a day, the monthly earnings that that woman should have been getting should have been higher. So even though you can, you can complete these questions, let me just tick off that, I can get £14.20 and this money will add up. If you can actually earn $500 a day, she'd be making maybe 10000 plus. I don't know the exact maths, but it'd be a lot higher. So it just seems like a real... Um, attempt to try and get you to download the game it's just so overhyped and the money's just just blown way out of proportion to the point where it just it's just hard to fathom now let's dig a little bit deeper into the app's credibility and see if their if their claims even hold any weight so one second and i'm going to take you to the play store where we're going to look at the app in more detail so here we are we're in the play store and this is the wisdom start app it's Owned by an operator, well, operate, owned and operated by a developer called Durant Sailor. I'm probably saying that wrong, but as you can see, it's an early access, and this is a bit of a red flag already. It means that the owners don't really want the app to be fully present, but only um, present in the eyes or like viewable to those people who have come from the ads. It's just very, it's, it's just a massive red flag, and. As you try out more of these games, you're going to find that a lot of these games, such as Wisdom Star, are in early access and it doesn't really make much sense. Another thing to also point out here is from the gallery, you've also got the game, simple simple game, and there's no sign of earning opportunities. In fact, the only earning opportunities that you'll see is once you've actually opened the game. But on the face of it, there is no cash, there's no mention. It's just It just comes across as a trivia game where you're going to be where you're going to be challenged to answer questions, and that's basically it. Another thing to point out is it has 1 million downloads. That is a ridiculous amount of downloads for an app that is apparently supposed to be in private launch. Like, it's a, 
it's it's not even fully released yet. The app is getting the same amount of downloads that your typical trending game would would get, and that also doesn't add up. And this also plays into the fact that if this game has one million downloads, how is it supposed to almost pay out each and every one of their users? If everyone's trying to download download this game and make three thousand dollars, just as the woman claimed, then it's going to result in Wisdom Star having so many, too big a payouts to basically fund. Like they're not going to be able to even raise the amount of money to support those amounts of money, support those payouts, should we say? So that's another thing. If the business model doesn't make any sense, and it certainly doesn't with Wisdom Star, then it's just another reason not to trust this app. Now, as for the actual gameplay of Wisdom Star, it is enjoyable. But the cash rewards are completely unrealistic. For example, you're awarded £40 just for answering a simple question. As you can see here, I've just made essentially £14.20 from answering one question. And I can claim that and that will be added to my that will be added to my balance. And as you can see, it's now gone up to £374.50. Now if we carry on answering these questions, um, let's go with this one because it's the lowest. That was pretty obvious. But as you can see, we've now got another £13.70, and this is added to the, to the, to the balance. Now, now, it's not going to be as easy as just answering questions, and it's all and it's, you can just basically go through the game, just answer all these questions. You're going to have your time sucked by, by all the ads that the developers are going to throw in front of you. In fact, for that previous question, the one before, there was an ad, and I had to pause it, because I don't want you to have to watch any ads. You've probably watched enough. But... You're going to have to watch a lot of videos and it's just going to be very frustrating, especially if you get to a point where you're, you're trying to cash out and you're not able to cash out despite all this time you put into the app. Now, as you can see, I've also just got 48 quid. Did I deserve 48 quid? Did I do anything to warrant 48 quid from playing this game? Absolutely not. So before we finish off here, I just want to look at the balance, not the balance, the withdrawal section. As you can see, we're now in the wallet section, which is what it's called, where I can now withdraw all that money. Well, that is what they're trying to make me believe anyway. So if I press withdraw, I put the PayPal in, I could click on any of these and put my name in, put my address in, and I could I could sit and wait and hope for a payout. But the chances are that payout's never going to come because of the reasons that I've gone into during this video. It just doesn't doesn't add up for them to pay me $500. I've watched a few videos of theirs, which means they might have got a few, might have got a bit of ad revenue, but it's not going to, that, what I've done for them is not going to give them all that um, money for them to pay me 430 quid. It just doesn't add up in any way. So I'm not even gonna bother with that and I wouldn't recommend or advise you to do that yourself. Obviously it is your choice at the end of the day, I can only give you what I, I believe is the best best option. I, but anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. Sadly, Wisdom Star seems to be just another deceptive cash grab, and we don't recommend relying on it as a way to make money. Instead, look for other other money making apps that will pay you for your time. I have I've comprised a few lists of apps that I believe. It's actually going to be worth your time and you can actually make a bit of money through using them. They don't give you false claims and they don't lead your hopes into thinking you can make £436.30 like this one is doing to me right now by making it making you believe that you can just play a game for 10 minutes, 5 minutes and then have that money just sent to your PayPal, whatever account that you're hoping to get paid in. It's just It doesn't work like that. These apps instead are a bit more realistic but they're also owned by established and le legitimate companies that have millions of users essentially that are making making a little bit of extra, extra cash from basically using their phone online so i will leave a link in the description below to my website where you can actually check out all these lists there's different lists geared to different types of people so if you're a beginner if you've got an iphone there'll be there'll be just there'll be lists depending on whatever you're kind of looking for. So basically just look through there and see what you can find and hopefully you can start making a bit of money from your phone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful app reviews 
and tips on making money online. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.